how come when you're this close to the puzzle, you can't see things? <laughs> but if you're watching it from the camera, you can go, oh, hey, that goes there, that goes there. And it's done. It's weird how the I love how the music really. kind of went with what I said. <laughs> music's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's done. She did it. It's so weird how that puzzle doesn't connect. You, you don't see it? I'm surprised you don't see it. You're a bullshit. <laughs> My middle name. So, does he do other D&D &D games? I think he plays in other ones. Right? I think yeah, it sounds like he's like doing. No, right now he's just playing games. Oh. The good thing is everybody else can. So, yes. Yep, just me. Bond. Jane. <laughs> I do know this is. Gee, movie. what movie is that? <laughs> I think I've seen maybe one James Bond movie. I have only because. I mean, isn't it just they're older. rich guy, fast cars, hot women? That's the whole. No, Bond. he actually solves murders too, or kills people, or. Oh, good. Yeah. That sounds. Those are the opposite of each other, so I don't know which side it's <laughs> He's just a rich man that can do all that, and people well, hire him. I guess. All I know is James Bond is a misogynist usually because he's always like well, trying to sleep with women half his age or something. In that time, I mean, it was different times, so. It's still misogynist. More yeah. acceptable because of it was. Age. I mean, it was more acceptable. It's just more people accepted it. Different times. Same misogyny. Nice to go back in time and be able to judge. But I feel like that one's kind of a kid. Yeah, that was. Even if I didn't see them change, I think I've seen. I feel like I've. I don't know that you've seen. Past car driving. And that's like, <laughs> and then him that like, could about be a to lot. sleep with a woman. But he I feel like that's, yeah, that's everything. But every time I think James Bond and like that whole, I that whole idea, all I can think of is like uh, uh, Austin Powers. Oh, you know, no. Austin Powers. I know, I know it's not. Okay. <laughs> but every time I think James Bond, I switch over to Austin Powers and it makes me think of the ladies with the guns in their boots. <laughs> Every time. Yeah. Austin Powers was in the movie I've seen several times. Austin Powers is bad. I don't like it. It's like a parody of James Bond. No. Yeah, it is. Okay. It's like a parody. James Bond was very cool, though. He was well, a very cool subjective. dude. He, he smokes cigars. He probably has yeah. one. He probably died in his 60s. He it's easy to go back and look at something and say, oh, that was really bad. But in the times, well, that I'm was sure there the were cool people guy. Thinking that at the time, it's just that they weren't yeah. the popular opinion because it wasn't good for marketing. I honestly couldn't tell you. Well, that's because you were. It was the 70s. You were a person that liked things. Well, I was a child, so <laughs> well, I, mean, they, I couldn't they, really they tell made, you. They made Jane Bond in the 90s, too. 90s? Yeah, there was like a new James Bond. It was James just a different Bond. James Bond. Yeah, it was just yeah. a new James Bond. Movie. I didn't watch those. Yeah. It was always, who's the new James Bond? I was like, who gets it? Okay. I thought it was, oh, well, yeah, I guess it was. I wasn't into it then. That was like the big thing. Yeah, I wasn't into it. The new Batman, the yeah, new Spider-Man, that was the big thing. It's like, who was the new James Bond? And then it became, who is the new, like, uh... Uh, Batman, because that changed all the time. Yes. The better question is, why do they keep making the same movie over and over oh again? Oh my gosh. <laughs> But I never we understood. all should just band together and say no more Hollywood, no more. Then everybody would have to read books, and nobody wants to do that. Why? I don't know. No. Oh. Because they keep banning them everywhere. I don't know that adults have been banned from books, but okay. They're trying. Adults? They're trying are to ban banning. They're trying to ban books in bookstores. 
in bookstores. Yeah, because children may may walk in there and see books not meant for them. It's like, no. yeah, it's a store. Yeah, that's different. <laughs> not every movie in Walmart is meant for children, but we're not banning movies. They just don't want a populace that's educated, that's the problem. Oh, you're smart enough to read books? That's terrifying. You might know laws if you could read books. Like, oh, well, heaven forbid that your populace know how to read a law. That's why they don't teach laws in school. They don't want the general populace to know laws. Well, good thing we have the internet now, so we can just look them up. That's why they keep trying to ban stuff like TikTok, where it's really easy to find out information. What we've got here is a failure to communicate. <laughs> that's the quote. Oh. It's like, I don't know what that's called. That's the quote. I'm missing I the W. That's like stark. I'm not reading the quotes. I'm not reading the quotes until they're done. Oh, my gosh. It's how it all incentivizes But it pretty much is because it's the bottom quote. Well, that's, that's what I'm um, yeah, I have to say it was strange going to a uh, a state cell without you. Like, <laughs> yeah. Very odd. I don't go to state cells by myself very often. Too bad, never do. You never do? Oh. It's the thing I do with mom. Gotcha. So you're saying I cheated on you? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, good. Evidently, I'm swimming. You said walk. I know. So evidently, you're walking somewhere. In my head, I'm walking. My body is swimming. Um, away. You know, I saw an interesting TikTok this week. Um, where she, she was like, "Where are you in your body? Like, where is your your you inside of you? Where, where where does your consciousness live inside your body?" And I was baffled at the response to this. People said their mouth. There's a chick. She's their like, mouth. Everybody is in their mouth. What? The voice in this ear head is in your mouth. He's like, no. no! You psychopath. Mine's like up here. Back in my, like up here. Right here. Like, is everybody's not, their consciousness is up on the top of their head? That's where mine I is. don't know that I've like, ever thought about where my consciousness is. Really? I don't know that I have. I would have to think about that one. Like, you are you inside of your, like, where you perceive the world. From. When I think of it right off the bat, I go to my heart. That's the first thing I think of, but I haven't really thought about it, so I don't. Well, I think if you over it, yeah. yeah, but. I think the idea is to be like your gut reaction. But my gut reaction is my heart. Her mouth is insane. Mouth? That's odd. I'm sure there's a psychology behind it, but oh, it was like the most interesting like Discord I saw on TikTok this week. I'm like, Marcy and I were talking about um I sent you and your sister this too. The lady said close your eyes and Yeah, she's annoying. I've seen her on my TikTok a lot. Uh, that's the only one I had saw and I was like, that is so cool. So I took you on my walk through the forest. Lovely. Yeah. And I had a ceramic cup, which means I feel like our relationship is very fragile. And I know, obviously. And then to get out of the maze, the funny thing was Marcy and I both came up with the same maze. It was the maze from The Shining. Really? <laughs> yeah. Both of us came up with that maze. And um, at the end of it, could you get out? And it was easy. Could you? It was kind of hard to get out of the maze, but you look back and say, "Oh, that was easy." Or did somebody have to come save you because you got lost? And I, you had to come save me because I got lost. That is so funny. And it's because, it's because I have one a true friend that I can always count on and always go to for anything. 
And I was like, Marcy, that's you! Because <laughs> it is! <laughs> I know the I can... The that saved her, apparently. <laughs> no, she's not. But the funny thing is, I was the person that went with her through the woods, and I told her, I said, it's probably because I'm the one who sent it to you. It's funny because when I did that, I walked alone. Really? Every time they're like, imagine somebody that's going with you, and I can never. You could never. I can never think of anybody to go with me in any situation. But yeah, there there was that, there was that one. And mine was like, so I I think I went on my own. And okay. then it was like the maze was just like a hedge maze in mine. It was just like. Right. But was it taller than you or no, was it, it was you could like, see over it? It was just like, I hide. I hide. But okay. it was like an easy maze. Oh. That hard. And the cup I think was just like, um, I, think, I don't remember what the cup was. I was thinking of glass, but I think oh. now that it was, I don't think it was glass because that would have made more sense. But I was like, I don't know why, but I'm thinking like a metal cup. Okay. <laughs> or something like Which that. Which would make sense because of D and D to me, but right, but right, a metal yeah. cup is strong and yeah, it durable. Yeah, it's interesting. It, it's always so. It was an interesting because we had several of those. Yeah. Where it, like, what is the creature that you see in the forest? And I'm like, why is this the first thing you think of? There and was an animal. Why yes. is the first thing that you think of? And I was like, no. there was an animal that comes up to you, and she asks what you, what kind of animal it was. And mine was a dog, and Marcy's was a dog. And then both of us, our interaction with that animal was we were petting and laughing, and it was a nice dog. And mine was about the size of Brandy, a Cocker Spaniel, and Marcy's was a uh, lab. So it was very interesting, because I don't think she really went over being a nice animal. She went over, you know, did you fight? Well, that means that did you, you don't have those yeah. problems, you know what I mean? Which was interesting, because Marcy has a lot of problems from childhood. But evidently, we've dealt with all of our problems. <laughs> I hope so, from your childhood 40 years ago. It hasn't? Why? Your sister said this yesterday, too. It has not been 40 years since so I was a teenager. Were I was thinking teenager. I was thinking childhood, but yeah, I guess you're right. It has not been 40 years. It's been like I'm 53. 35, excuse me. Okay, thank you. 35 <laughs> years. Your sister's in the same thing. It's been 40 years. I'm like, no. You wound up, bro. <laughs> no, not in that. I've already started rounding up. I'm like, I'm basically 40. One of these days, you'll be with me and say, oh, yeah, don't round up. You will. You'll be old now. I feel like caring about your age is kind of like not a thing that millennials do. They're like, hey, we made it to this age. Didn't expect to do that. I love millennials. They're so much fun. Uh, they know everything. Um, we just have to ask. We grew up with the internet. We just have to ask. We grew up Googling things, so we know far more than we should. Somebody said something to me yesterday about... Um, being a smoke hole at schools and teachers smoking with kids. And I was like, it was the 80s. Yes, we didn't, It. it's not nowadays. It was the 80s. Yeah. Stop. It was a different time and Stop place. acting like that was so, <laughs> you know, yes, we smoked with our teachers out in the smoke hole. I mean, it's a weird thing it's, to think back on, but like, it just, it was. I did it. I mean, it, it, there was nothing nefarious like, about it. I know, it. too. I think it's a good thing. Probably not. Probably though. not. Because people were smoking, and that's a bad uh, thing. Not because... But, I mean, there was nothing nefarious going on. It was just you went outside to smoke. It... Well, and I just don't <laughs> think it's the teacher's job to give a shit about what you're doing in your free time. Well, they had teachers in the smoke hole. I know, but, but I'm just saying yeah, they're not your... Wasn't... They're not the police, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, it's uh, not their job to police what you do outside of school hours. No, it was during school hours. On school break, even. It was, but I'm just yeah, like, yeah, in between classes. I think the whole, like... It was different times. I've never understood, like, people saying it's illegal for people to smoke under the age of 18. Nobody enforces it, so apparently it's not. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like The just... only thing it is is they can add a, a separate charge so whenever you get charged with something. The most interesting, like, something. Uh, quote I've ever heard is... If it if the only punishment for the crime is a fine, it's only illegal for poor people. Oh. 
And that is the Interesting. Most- like direct like the best way to summarize like our legal system because it's true it it is illegal for everybody right but if you i don't know that i agree with that i think it's but if you can always pay your way out of it then the crime isn't really a crime right like it still is sure yeah it's still morally wrong or whatever but if the only if the only punishment is a fine where for some people it would devastate their life for but for other people it's a laughable joke and they just always pay the fine a good example of this is speeding tickets right I don't speed because I could not handle the cost of a speeding ticket. Some people, that's just a monthly charge that they expect to have. Like, I knew a guy who was like, yeah, I set aside this amount per month for speeding tickets. And that's insane to me. The idea that that's like just a normal thing that you do because that law doesn't apply to you because you have money is fucking insane. There's people that speed that can't afford it too, though. I know, but I'm just saying. Like, and that's their for... It was like such a normal concept. Like, yeah, his dad did it. And his dad's dad did it because he grew up with money. It's just like... I don't look at speeding as one of those because what? to me, speeding... Speeding, speeding is ticket, literally because it only a crime because people because poor people no. can't afford it so that they keep those people in line so it's only a law for those people really it's not a law for people who can get away with it and pay for it because that, that's not a thing the reason speeding is there is because it causes deaths and it should it should be because it's to keep people safe but I've right. the number of times that I've seen cops drive like an insane psychopath on the streets if they can pull somebody going five over like you're not keeping anybody safe buddy you're actually the problem you're actually in, in like putting more people's lives in danger because you just swerved in and out of traffic going 100 miles per hour so you can pull a guy going over 10 like that's insane they do go to school for that though Okay, and <laughs> doesn't mean that you are not beholden to law just because you're a cop. I would say nobody should speed because it is a dangerous thing yeah, and you can I'm, kill somebody by just, speeding and it shouldn't be just, an example of just like a fine. A law is that really only apply to people who can't afford the fine. You know, that, I mean? don't agree with that one, but, but I understand like, your concept. Like, if, if, if you can always just pay your way out of it and it's just a fine, like, I feel like after a certain number of speeding tickets, your license should get taken away. It does. It doesn't it because does. there's just a fine that you can pay to get no. rid of them. It, there, you actually have points on your license, and once you hit those points, you do get your license taken away. But I'm saying that they just pay and you to can look get that up. No, it actually you have to do community service, or you have to you go to jail, out. or to but there is, bail, right? there is there is. Or, you know, somebody owns somebody that gives enough money to the right charity, so therefore they don't ever get taken in. It's an interesting... It doesn't matter. I mean, you're not going to... You're not going to agree with what I'm saying, even though... Well, I'm saying you, right? Well, I mean, but it's not true. I mean, the truth is, you can get your license taken away. It's not just a silly fine. So... I'm not saying it's silly, right? To me, it would be devastating. rich people. But for somebody who makes millions of dollars, right you know, scamming people out of money, it's a laughable joke to get these speeding tickets because they mean nothing. A hundred dollar ticket means nothing to somebody who makes thousands of dollars scamming people, you know what I mean? So like, it's whatever. It's just, it's an interesting idea when we start applying it to other laws, like silly laws that like... Now, I mean, in Oklahoma, I believe one of our silly laws is that you can't spit on the sidewalk, or maybe it's in Broken Arrow, like, I don't know, but... Jaywalk. Um, or... Yeah, those... Jaywalking, I understand, or... because if somebody's in a crosswalk, you have to stop your car for them, but if they're not, well, then you don't. Because <laughs> always have the right-of-way, right? It doesn't matter if they're in a crosswalk. That's the law. But if they're in a crosswalk, then... They, they could be Anytime fine. you run over a human being, you're in the wrong. <laughs> now, there are some extenuating circumstances, but it really, you should be aware of humans on the side of the street at all times. That's kind of I your job agree. as a person operating a vehicle. But I would stay in the crosswalk, I personally guys. have never run over a person. I'll just say it. Okay, I don't... I've never even gotten close. <laughs> uh, I've gotten close, and I apologize. Well, I just think you slow down if there's people on the side of the street. Yes, but I... I don't know. I don't, I don't know how people are more aware of 
they're surrounding. It's it's baffling to me. There was this lane yesterday on my way home from work. She was in, so I was in the right lane, right? Because my exit was coming up. Mm -hmm. And she was like a few cars back and I saw her get into the, the middle lane. And she was in the middle lane and I was about to exit for this, like turn off the highway or whatever. Yeah. Um, and she tries to, first she's like right next to me, right? So we're like this on the highway. Right. And I'm like, okay, I'm gonna exit. But she turns on her blinker and I'm like, okay. Uh, she's gonna take my spot, whatever. But then she tries to swerve into me, and I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> and then, so I get into the exit lane, and then she swerves into that, and then tries to swerve in front of me, but she's still right next to me. Oh my gosh. So I speed up a little bit, and then she looks, she gets behind me, and she looks pissed off because I didn't stop <laughs> to let her in front of me. God. People were using, like yesterday on my way home, you know how I've always been bitching about turn signals? Turn signals. It's like the universe heard me and started being like, fine, here's your fucking turn signal. Let me use it like a bitch. And be like, oh, I turned my turn signal on. That means you stop on the highway so I can get in front of you. I'm like, that's not what a turn (laughs) signal means. You want a turn signal? Here it is. A turn signal means you have an intention to get in that lane. Well. Not you will move out of my lane because I want in that lane. That's not what that, but you see my car. You can, so you, you want them to use a turn signal, just not. You can decide not. if you want to speed up or slow down, but I'm not going to change for you. That's not what a turn <laughs> signal means. Oh, so exactly. now you get to decide. Everybody on that highway generally drives the same speed, right? So you can True. judge mathematically. You can see, oh, if I want to get in that lane, I either need to slow down a little bit so I can move over, or I need to speed up a little bit so I can get ahead of them. You can judge that based on their speed and your speed, right? It's really simple math equation. So it's not that it's not rocket science to move on the highway but people just don't get it i'm like everybody's moving 65 miles per hour probably closer to 70 because everybody speeds speed to by five mm-hmm. so y- you know that if you want to get in front of me before the exit for some reason whatever fucking reason doesn't matter being wrong getting to the same stoplight that you either need to speed up or slow down because i'm not gonna fucking do it for you <laughs> People just don't know how to drive. It's insane to me. It's a simple math equation at all times, and it's not hard. Maybe I need to be I see. I see driving on the highway as a video game. Okay. My favorite game was Frogger. It's a lot with drive. <laughs> Thanks. I'm trying to run into people on the side. <laughs> I felt really bad. <laughs> The, the, I, you I shouldn't it, try and hit people. Well, no, I know. I mean, it's not like you tried to hit people. No, I did not. But um, I can imagine that the rest of their day, they were just bitching about the stupid lady that oh, wouldn't yeah. stop apologizing. For sure. Me. Yeah. But, yeah. Because <laughs> that's the only thing I can picture is like, okay, mom, we get it. You apologize. Move on. <laughs> because the more you apologize, the less genuine it, it sounds and feels. But you, your way of countering that is to double down yes. like oh i sound less genuine let me just let keep me, going yes i'm like let me try harder <laughs> not how that works it is in my world <laughs> if you lived inside my head if only you did Dang, bro i got my own there is a what's the question in in the journal that we have yeah it was like if you could swap places with anybody for a day who would it be he said nobody i said no i don't want to give anybody this are you kidding me <laughs> samantha goes i'll swap with kelsey <laughs> why <laughs> in a heartbeat <laughs> well so first me maybe i had to overanalyze yes. it i was like so what is the parameters because if it's just like oh, if your gosh. brains just swap then somebody has to live in this body and that's a no-go I oh not no force that upon my worst no <laughs> But if it's like they literally just are in my life and I'm in their life, then maybe that would be fun. But I could not think of a single human being that I would do that with. I was like, I like my life. Why would I give it up? It's not, I mean, I don't know. You have a pretty good life. I mean, it's not the best, but it's definitely something that I've worked for and I don't feel like anybody else deserves to get it. Because oh. They didn't work for it. Deserves? Yeah. They're just talking about swapping for a day. I know. I just Not the rest of this your is life. Mine. You can't have it. Wow. 
I, I put up with a lot of shit to get here. I'm not giving it up to nobody for nothing. Everybody's put up with stuff. I, I don't know. But I mean, it, everybody has their stuff. They also, like, they also had one in there that was like, who's your role model? I was like, I can't. Nope, you can't. I've never been able to my nope. whole life. So, like, a lot of the things with me don't get. I can't answer this question because I don't know. When you were a little girl, um, elementary school, it was always your teacher or a movie star. When you were in middle school, it was J.K. Rowling and... Authors. Yeah, and authors. never was it her mother. <laughs> oh, no. Because when growing up my whole life, my mom's like, just be better than me. So you weren't going to be my role model because you told me to be better than you. So I There you go. Okay. It was on the floor. Well, Imagine that. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. I don't know. Forget it, Jake. I've never heard this quote. I didn't know it was a movie quote. Forget it, Jake. It's Chinatown. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. I've done all the interesting ones, so it's all boring for me. Nuh uh. There's oh. one. Maybe. Looks like it's been first. Won't happen, but. I it saying, might. You, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing this one. Oops. No one on the internet can see what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I don't know why. Nothing. That's all the quote says. <sighs> yes, I know. You can't you say the quote until you put it together. I'm not book. done with it. Because no. I'm missing yeah, the eye. Now. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Um, I want, if I had to make a random guess, no, I've never heard this quote. And I've been book. If I had to make a random guess, I would say, um, what is that movie with the, she's a prostitute, but they. Pretty they, woman. Yeah. <laughs> that would be my random ass guess. That's the only New York movie I can think of. And I honestly don't know what it's from. <laughs> Sorry. Does it say on the back? Which one yes, is? it does. But okay, we're doing it now. Well, I'm just gonna look for the quotes. I'm not gonna look at the movies. Okay. From just keep swimming. It's from Finding Nemo. Yes. I'm like, yes, we know that. <laughs> what are you doing? Bond, James Bond is not from James Bond. Yes, it is. It's from Doctor No, 1962. I guess which is James Bond. I guess that's the original. First. Doctor No is James Bond. I know, but I'm saying that's probably the first time they said the quote because they said it every James Bond. Doctor No is the movie. I know, but I'm just saying they probably said it in every James Bond movie. That's probably yes. the first. One. Right. <laughs> I'm walking here is from Midnight Cowboy, 1969. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. What is the other? Oh. From Midnight Cowboy? Yeah. I never heard that name. Right. Forget it, Drake. It's Chinatown. It's from the movie Chinatown, 1974. Oh, no. Rocky came out in 1976. This is what I'm talking about. Why would I watch any of these movies? Because Rocky is iconic. They came out 30, like... 20 years before it war. Because Rocky is iconic, kind of like Star it's Wars. It's a or... movie. It's no, not. it's an iconic movie. It's not just a boxing movie. You know, it's on into millennials. Maybe. It is. There's a lot of millennials still. Corey's teacher, her, uh, what she collects or her hobby is Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I was like, Oh, that's cool. Unusual. Most millennials are like that. Star Wars? Yeah. Oh. It's like the most basic bitch millennial. Oh, okay. It's the guy that... Never starts, mind. It's the guy... It's not It's not nerdy, is what I'm saying. Like, Star Wars is not nerdy in the way that it used to be. Because it's just like... Can, can you put the paper back, please? Oh. <laughs> Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You don't look at the paper. <laughs> yes, I do, actually, but okay. But there's some um, that's like mainstream now that's not even considered nerd because nerd culture became mainstream. And things like that is like Harry Potter's mainstream. Uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, all that's pretty mainstream. But back in like whenever you guys were in school, that was only for nerds. But like Marvel is a good example of like only nerds read comic books, but now everybody knows Marvel. 